Hi, this is Tim Bedley, and today I'm going to teach you how to convert mixed numbers into improper fractions and improper fractions back into mixed numbers. So here we go. Uh, let's take a look first at a mixed number. Mixed number includes a whole number and a fraction. So let's say we have the number 4 and 1 fourth. Whole number 4, fraction 1 fourth. It's called a mixed number. Oftentimes when you're working with these kinds of numbers, you need to convert them into improper fractions. Improper fractions means that you have a numerator like 16 that is larger than the denominator. A proper fraction would be something like 1 fourth. This is an improper fraction. So how do I change this mixed number into an improper fraction? I simply multiply the denominator times the whole number coming around in this direction and then I add the numerator to get my numerator and I keep the denominator the same. So 4 times 4 is 16 plus 1 is 17. Remember I keep the denominator so 4 and 1 fourth is equal to 17 fourths. Let's try another one. 2 and 3 fifths. Remember, I'm going to make a circle around starting at the denominator like that, and that's going to become my numerator. I'm going to multiply first 5 times 2, which is 10. I'm going to add the numerator, which makes 13. So my improper fraction that this is equal to is 13 fifths. Now, how do we uh, go the other way around? Let's take a look at those. Starting with an improper fraction, like let's say we have 10 fourths, and we want to change this into a mixed number. Well, what I'm going to do is simply treat this as a division problem. So I'm going to do 10 divided by 4. And 4 goes into 10 2 times. 2 times 4 is 8, and 10 minus 8 is 2. This becomes my remainder, of course, which is my new numerator for my fraction part of the mixed number. So the answer is 2 for this number, and the remainder 2 becomes my numerator, and I keep the same denominator. So 2 and 2 fourths. Let's take a look at another one like that. Let's say we have 6 fifths. Okay, 6 fifths is the same thing as 6 divided by 5. 5 goes into 6 one time, remainder 1, and I keep the same denominator. What about a bigger one, like 23 fourths? Well, how many times does 4 go into 23? That would go in 5 times. That's your whole number. The remainder, 4 times 5 is 20, so the remainder is 3, keeping the same denominator, 5 and 3 fourths. So there you have it, converting mixed numbers into improper fractions and vice versa. Hope it helps.